Hi everyone, Farmer Dean from Tangletown Gardens here. Um, it's super windy today, so I sorry, I apologize about the uh, the audio. I'm sure it's going to be rough, but we're going to do this anyway. Um, uh, this week I wanted to talk to you just a little bit about uh, raising beef. Uh, beef has been a lightning rod topic lately um, and there's a right way and a wrong way to raise beef. Uh, the wrong way produces uh, emissions, uh, the wrong way produces less healthy beef, uh, and the wrong way produces less healthy pastures. So um, I want to talk to you uh, today about how we raise beef um, and then we do a high stock density rotational graze system which allows us to move our animals each and every day to a different piece of pasture and by doing so somebody's coming to say hi by doing so we're actually improving the health of the soil and we're improving the health of the animals and at the end of the day when we consume the beef we're actually improving the health of the beef uh, for us um, one of the other things that um, beef has been implicated in is global warming and when we raise thousands and thousands of animals in a very small amount of space and we truck the food for long distances um, yes that is a net carbon loss uh, when we raise beef in a high stock density rotationally grazed system we actually take more co2 from the atmosphere and put it back into the soil where it came from and where it belongs so um, we're at the tail end of the season now um, in our pastures and you can see they're getting pretty low. Um, we're about to hay season, uh, hay feeding season, and we're almost to the point where we will turn them loose into our, our, what are, our vegetable fields for the summertime. We actually take what was cauliflower and sweet corn and broccoli and all those crops and we fence them in and we let the cows go in and graze them so they get a little diversity in their diet. Um, you can see this pasture. Um, has lots and lots of diversity. There's lots of clovers, lots of different, um, uh, basically lots of grasses and lots of different forbs. So they've got a very diverse diet. And that in the end of the day helps them be healthier and helps us improve the health of the soil at the same time. So uh, lots of great stuff happening out in our farm and our pastures at this time of the year. Next week we're gonna talk about pastured poultry. So uh, join us and we'll talk to you then. Have a great week.